Hello, and welcome to the review that I'm making of this Best Choi lens adapter. Um, this is Guy from the East Midlands, and Best Choi sent me this adapter um, for free in exchange for this review. And um, I'm really, really, really pleased they did. This is a big treat for me. Um, so I'm going to run you through how you'd use it, what it's good for, what it's not so great for. Um, so first of all, there's two different types of lens adapter. This is the one from Best Choi. And as you can see, it's very, very solidly built. Um, this is the camera I usually use for making reviews on. This camera that's filming is the slightly older one. Um, so I hope this works okay. Now, um, it's nice and solid. And as you can see, it's um, it's fairly well painted. There's there's no big shiny problems. Now, some some of these very reflective inside and you get all sorts of strange lens flares and I've been testing this quite a lot for a few days now and I've not had any lens flare issues at all um, which is a big big plus it fits very snugly on my camera um, and the lens fits on it as well very very snugly um, it's not difficult I've had these before which kind of grind against your lenses and grind against the camera body and that's a real concern for me I've also had ones where they throw the back focus off because they they wobble slightly. They're not they're not a true fit, and this is just this is perfect. It fits exactly as you'd hope it would. Um, the price is ridiculously low. I think right now on Amazon it's around fourteen pounds. So um, this, this is an absolute steal. This is as good as any that I've ever used. Now there's two types of lens mounts. That there's these ones, these adapters, and this is going by the way from a Canon mount, which will go here to a Sony E-mount, but um, they do have a whole range of them. So make sure you get the one that goes to um, from the lens that you're using to the camera body that you're using, otherwise you're going to find that it doesn't help you. Um, now there's these kind which are straight, straight through, it's purely mechanical, and therefore there's no electronics. Um, or you get another kind which is probably eight or nine times the price which is such as this one. I don't really want to show your brand name off because it's not their review. Um, this kind, which I also have, um, has glass inside and it's a speed booster so you get a different f-stop. You get a brighter lens out of it and you get electronics here which carry on things like autofocus um, and focusing generally and also um, your aperture. So. Back to the back to the lens mount that we're looking at today. Now, I just got to explain what it's not for first because you sometimes get people getting disgruntled, and it's just that they haven't really read what the lens is for. So, if I show you first of all, this is my eighteen thirty-five mm Canon lens, and this lens is electronic only so you'd need these connectors to be able to attach it to the camera now i have attached it to my sony yesterday as an experiment and because it does fit um this wouldn't fit with a speed booster because the rear element comes out too far so the glass one it wouldn't fit with um, but with this it does fit onto my camera but because there's no electronics you don't get control of focus because it's a motor driven focus and you don't get control of aperture so all you can do is zoom in and out and hope that the item that you want to film is exposed properly at its widest which is f5.6 and is in focus because you can't change the focus once you've got this lens attached and it happened that actually having this lens attached to my camera on the Sony brought the focus a lot closer than it ever does on my Canon so um, my, my normal camera for making films with is this lovely big Canon C100 Mark II but it doesn't even fit in the frame um, and what happened was my focus was about this distance away when zoomed in fully, which is an amazingly short focus. Um, but you couldn't focus anywhere else, so I just had to take really close-up pictures of my cat. I mean, let's face it, that's what you hopefully use your camera for any day of the week anyway, but it, it was a little bit frustrating, and you wouldn't want to go out with, with um, that kind of lens on your camera where you can't even focus it, let alone change the exposure. So onto what it is good for, and that's more professional lenses. So this is a Samyang lens, this is a 24mm one. I, I've got um, a set of these but I chose to use this one to show you because it's a lot easier um, to see in the close-up details exactly what's going on with it. So, first of all, 
rotate your camera and step one is to find the lens cap because I've lost it there you go okay step one is to find the lens cap so if I turn this on then okay so here we're running with the camera with its built-in lens and you can see kind of how much I can throw things out of focus with it um, I've only got the camera's controls in terms of exposure so I can't I can't do anything on the lens with that now um, same for focus it's a it's an electronic lens so this controls zoom or if you switch to focus it controls focus but it's not perfect because this is just electronics now Stage one is to take off the lens. Um, I will say that this doesn't come with lens caps, and I can see why, because it's incredibly cheap. So if they were to give you sort of four pounds worth of lens caps as well, they'd need to be charging 20 pounds for it. So for the price, it's brilliantly cheap, but you do need to get yourself a rear cap and a body cap. Um, I don't have those as spare right now, so I'm just gonna be fast. So take your lens off, You'd want to put your rear cap onto your lens as well to keep it protected from now on. Put this onto your new camera. Sorry, I don't know why I said new camera. Come here, old camera. See, that slides on very, very neatly. In fact, I'm going to show that again because it's such a pleasure to use. Just take it and click. Really, really easy, and that's rare to find in these kind of things. Take the rear cap off line your red dots up which I can't see from where I am so I'm going to have to trust it in fact I'm going to do that better ok so there's my red dot and here's the red dot there so ok so I'm starting too close I'm, I'm royally messing this up Sorry, Miss Joy, this isn't your fault, it's mine. Okay, I get it. I get it. I need to start there. Yeah, perfect, okay. I was just looking at the right place. So, let's start with it here. I just want to show you that I'm not I'm not trying to hawk this to you. This is actually works really well. Um, it's hard for me to see from around behind the camera. So, it slots in very nicely. I press this to take the lens off again. Very, very easy to use. I'll take my lens hood off because I don't need that, take my lens cap off. Now if you were sticking with the same lenses, obviously you could use the same rear cap for the lens that you took off, but because they're a different fit, that's not going to work. And there you have it. Turn on your camera. And you're ready to go. So now I have full manual control of the focus. Okay, I'm perfectly sharp on the Sony, but my little camera that I'm filming with isn't focusing on the screen. There you go. So you have really, really pin sharp focus. And best of all, you have manual control over your exposure as well. So I've got total control over all elements of the lens. And it gives me a much, much better choice of lenses. You can get some brilliant glass for not very much money, and you're not stuck with the lenses made by the manufacturer of your camera. So all in all, this is absolutely without question a five star item. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled to have it. So thank you for um, watching this review and I hope you found it really helpful.